Hello, in this tutorial I will show you how to make an interactive point cloud like this one. It's uh, built in Cable's uh, web editor. It runs directly in browser, you can use it on your website or you can mint it as interactive NFT. And uh, I've made a free template that you can use. And I've also made a free Blender template to convert meshes to point clouds. And uh, the process begins with getting a model, of course. So for this example, I used the Creative Commons model by Lassie Kaukonen on Sketchfab. I've downloaded it and uh, now I'm heading to the template in Blender. This is the example of how it works. So you can see some points on the Suzanne monkey. Um, this is just an example. I will delete it and import my file. Okay, so the file looks like this, and uh, this model has around 60,000 vertices. I want the point cloud to be more dense than that, so I will subdivide it. If your model is uh, has more vertices, you don't need to do this step. Okay, and I'm applying the subdivision. Now I have to fit the model in the uh, bake area. So here you can see there's this uh, cube that you have to fit your model in uh, so the entire uh, mesh should be maximum one by one by one meter i'm scaling and moving it to fit it in this area okay so this is the prepared model and now i need to run this uh, script so I will release it as an add-on, but so far it's just the alpha version and this is the script in the file. You need to press run script button. And now when you go to the object properties panel and scroll down, you can see mesh to point cloud tab. Select the mesh, click add point cloud nodes. And now you can see that all the mesh is uh, looks like small dots so there are, there are some probes uh, that will generate the point cloud texture and now i need to edit some properties of this geometry node setup so i click go to nodes and here you can see the modifier uh, i will make those uh, points a bit bigger so maybe three and uh, so far i don't see the color because i didn't attach any textures to it uh, here you can see 10 different uh, material slots. Um, if your model has more than one material, you can use uh, up to 10 different textures. Uh, with this one, I just have one texture, so I will plug it to color text one. And the texture is converted to vertex colors. If you use a model with vertex colors uh, and you don't use textures, uh, you can skip this output attribute color. You can delete it so the vertex colors don't get overwritten and for this one uh, i'm good to go and i can uh, apply this modifier i'm not going to apply it here but uh, there's a special special button for it go to object properties again select the mesh and click prepare to bake it will uh, apply the modifier create baking textures and do some extra steps and uh, now this is the baking material so there are four different baking textures and i will show you how this uh, method works so when i go to edit mode uh, you can see that the uv map is built of individual pixels so each of these probes is mapped as one pixel on the texture and then when i bake this uh, mesh into a point cloud each square's uh, position is baked as a pixel on the texture and there are textures for position color and normal map and uh, i will show it in a minute so i'm going back to object mode mm, i'm selecting this uh, first uh, texture so this is a color texture i go to render settings bake and click bake and now you can see the texture it contains colors from the model so each pixel is one point now I select the second texture, I connect the second attribute to the emissions shader, and I select it again. So now you can see the position. 
each uh, pixel, you know, the, the color of each pixel is a different position of the uh, of the plane in the space. Now I click bake, and it's uh, saved as another texture. Now I connect the third attribute, select this one. This one is also used for position because uh, cables uh, support the web browser supports only 8-bit images and the position would not be uh, detailed enough. So I use two 8-bit textures to combine them into 16-bit texture. And now there's uh, last attribute, so it's a normal map. I select the normal texture, click bake. And now I have a set of uh, all the four, four textures. Uh, then you need to save them. I've already saved them before, so I will skip this step, but you save each image one by one. And then you go to Cables uh, Editor. Open Object uh, Properties panel, scroll down, and here you can find Cables GL template button. Okay, so this is a template on the Cables uh, website. If you're visiting Cables GL for the first time, make sure to sign up and uh, or log in. Uh, when you're logged in, you can go to the editor. So I click Open in Editor button. Okay, so this is a Cables template. Uh, now I will uh, show some other model that I have. I've made this uh, Christmas tree. And I drag and drop the files in cables and they show up in uh, the files dialog. And if you want to upload your own point cloud here, you have to find this uh, area called point cloud textures in red. And uh, now uh, look for this texture nodes. So the first uh, one is pose base. And uh, I click in this um, file. Um, button to change it. I select the texture with pose base uh, suffix and now I have to change all the other textures so this is the second one then go for color and the last one is normal And now instead of that uh, Christmas scene, there's a Christmas tree. I will switch it back to the previous model because it looks better. And there are some settings. Uh, in here so you can change some parameters there's a long list of parameters in here I won't uh, explain them in details um, but you can change the look of the point cloud I've made some presets that you can select so this is the first one then you have uh, this one the point cloud can look uh, in many different ways um, it's very flexible to work with, uh, so you can achieve very different styles of it. And uh, yeah, you can make something like this. Or you can make something that looks completely solid. And this one is uh, glitchy. Yeah, and then there's this sandstorm. So you can pick from these uh, presets and then you can go and edit uh, the preferences. So for example, if I want to change the background color, it's actually a fog color. I can go here and change it. And there are many different sliders that do a lot of things. Uh, so just go ahead and experiment with it. If you want to uh, export the final project and you've made some changes, you can find this uh, area called settings here and there's this node called presets so let's say that I will make some I will start with this one I will make the points uh, smaller and I will make the opacity lower and maybe change the background 
reduce some noise, etc. Then if I want to save it as a preset, I have to select this node, click Add Preset, and it added a new uh, preset to the scene. And the important thing before exporting it, uh, for example, if you want to mint it as NFT, uh, is to put this preset in the first place, because by default uh, you can change all the stuff here, but uh, by default it will load this first preset that's on the list. So in this case, I will just delete it, put this preset here. Now I'm saving and reload the page to check if it if the presets if the preset works. Yeah, and now you can see that uh, it loaded the last settings. Um, before minting, uh, select the sidebar. So this is the sidebar node. And here you have this uh, visible checkbox. Uncheck it so you don't uh, see the sidebar here. Then go for export. All oh, right, you have to save it first. Click export check export without subdirectories and export a zip file download and this is a zip file that contains all the all the files so there's index html there's uh, patch js all the textures some credits and stuff there's also a screenshot so this will be a thumbnail of your uh, NFT. And uh, one who think you need to change in it. Uh, so I will go to downloads. Uh, I will I will unpack it. If you want to mint it as NFT, you need to change one line in the HTML. So open this HTML with some editor. Go to Meta uh, Properties here. So I will change this one. And uh, here's the line you need to add. Meta Property equals OG image. And then you can copy this one. And close the bracket. You can also change some description, names and stuff in HTML. Then uh, click Save. Um, you can also change this screenshot to your own custom one so you can design some other uh, thumbnail for your NFT. Now select all, click uh, write packet as a zip file. I will name it Christmas. Now open object.com create a new NFT. Now you have to drag the zip file with the project here and check if it works on the object uh, page. So now I can see that it's working. You can test it in this uh, preview window. The second thing you need to upload is the thumbnail. So you can make a square thumbnail for this one. I can basically make like a print screen from this. And upload the thumbnail to, to the NFT. Okay, here you can see the thumbnail. And then uh, you have to fill all the informations and mint, mint it. 
Uh, the links to the templates are in the video description. And if you have any questions, uh, if you have any suggestions or ideas uh, to improve this uh, workflow, you can join the Discord and contact me. See you later.